Less than a month after Major Nadal Hassan allegedly killed 13 people at Fort Hood, Texas, the Pentagon's top intelligence officer sent the White House a report detailing that earlier failure to connect the dots. According to that still classified report, the terrorism task force responsible for determining whether Hassan posed a threat never saw all 18 emails he exchanged with that radical Yemeni cleric Al-Laki, whose communications were being monitored under a court-ordered wiretap. After the Washington task force decided Hassan was not dangerous, it never asked to see his subsequent communications with Al-Laki. And I think it is a real problem that uh, you didn't have at one place and one time all of the communications being evaluated. None of the emails specifically mentioned Hassan's plans for a shooting rampage at Fort Hood, but because he was a member of the military, the FBI showed them to a Pentagon investigator with the note COM written on it. To the FBI, that meant commissioned officer. The Pentagon investigator thought it meant communication. As a result, there were no red flags that an army officer was emailing a radical cleric suspected of being a talent spotter for al-Qaeda. Bottom line, Katie, the lessons of the Fort Hood shootings were not learned in time to avert the near disaster on Christmas Day. David Martin at the Pentagon tonight. David, thank you.